Hi, I'm Andy and welcome to my channel about crypto. In this short video, I will show you how to add different networks to MetaMask or how to connect MetaMask to different networks. You may already know that MetaMask by default is an Ethereum wallet. So basically you can trade all ERC20 uh, tokens on it using it, or you can buy e ERC721 NFTs, but you cannot use it to buy or trade or store any tokens that are on Binance Smart Chain, like let's say Altura or C DeFi, or many other tokens which may be on different networks like Polygon, Moon River, and so on. You may not be able to add every single network to MetaMask. For example, you cannot store ADA using MetaMask or Solana-based tokens, but there are many networks you can add. And in this video, I will show you how to do it. The process is really straightforward. First, you need to open your MetaMask and to make it easier, I will open it in a full window. And then you need to get details to add different networks. So first in MetaMask, you click on this icon here and then you go to settings. In settings, you go to networks and this gives you a list of currently connected networks or the networks you can select. Some of them, as you can see, they are locked. They are Ethereum networks and there are some other ones. You can see here Pol Polygon mainnet, which is one of the networks already added manually to be able to use this uh, MetaMask with, with Polygon tokens, Polygon based tokens. If you want to add any other network, or in this case, I will add Binance Smart Chain. First, you need to find the details of that network. The easiest way to do it is Google it and then go to a credible website that provides this information. So in case of Binance Smart Chain, well, I know that Binance Academy or anything official Binance will definitely give me the correct details. Similarly, let's say I want to add Moonriver, I would go to moonbeam.network to get the official documents and official information. So let's go back to Binance website. There is an article that describes it all step by step, which is really helpful. But the bit that's important is the main net. So this information right here. There is also test net, but you don't really need it unless you are interested in developing your own tokens or NFTs or something. And you basically need a network where you can test stuff without spending actual BNB coins or, or any other coins on the network. But for actual trading and storing coins, mainnet is the one you need. So all you need to do is basically just copy paste this information to the correct sections in MetaMask. So if I go to add network, go to network name, then just simply copy smart chain, then RPC, Chain, chain ID, which is 56. Currency symbol, as you can see, that's optional. That's BNB and Block Explorer. I'll copy it manually. There you go. Click Save. And now, as you can see, that network is, is added to my MetaMask. I'm connected to it. I can use it. Of course, all my tokens now disappeared. That's absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. You have this drop down menu here. And if you click on it, you can change back to Ethereum. You can go to Polygon, which yeah, there's something here. So basically I can jump between networks and see relevant tokens. It's important that when you then connect to a particular website, you of course have to change to correct network because otherwise you either won't be able to connect or you won't be able to interact with, well, you won't be able to connect. Basically, either the website will give you an error or if the website won't tell you that there is an error, you still won't be able to, uh, to interact with the protocol. You still won't be able to trade. Uh, let's say if I go to PancakeSwap, I have to change from Ethereum to BSC. So that's literally all there is to it. 
It's really straightforward. However, there's one very important thing I wanted to mention. Certain tokens exist on different networks. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you an example here. I think I will be actually. So for example, you can see here that I'm on Ethereum network and I have some USDC coins here. Well, I don't have any, but I had some USDC tokens, which, which is a stable coin. If I then go to Polygon, you can see USDC here as well. However, this doesn't mean that I can send USDC from Polygon network to Ethereum network. And similar thing actually is with Matic. To be able to do any transactions on Polygon network, you need Matic tokens to pay gas. But you can also buy and store Matic tokens on, on Ethereum. But that token is ERC20 token, which is not compatible with Matic token on Polygon network. So if you want to move assets between different networks, same type of assets, you have to use something called bridge. So for example, if I look for Polygon bridge, this will give me some options here. I have Polygon wallet, I have Polygon bridge here. If I connect with my MetaMask, sign it. And then using this bridge, I can move tokens from one network to another one. Otherwise, those tokens would, would be just burned. Either a transaction wouldn't go through or you would lose all the tokens. So it's really important that you send tokens which are compatible to when you're sending them to a different network. The only problem with bridging is that it is quite expensive because it requires gas for every transaction. So essentially, especially at the moment when gas fees are quite high, it's important that you transfer, you bridge large enough amount for it to be worthwhile. And if you're not entirely sure if you're sending tokens to the correct network, it's often good practice if gas fees are not too high to first send very, very small amount, which often on networks such as Binance Smart Chain or Polygon, it's actually really, really cheap because gas fees are much lower than on Ethereum. And then if those tokens get burned and if something goes wrong, well, at least you lost only very, very small amount. And then you're not risking your big transfer. You know that something went wrong, you can, you can change the settings. If you send a larger amount and that gets burned, well, that's lost forever and most likely you are, you, you are unable to recover that. So, so it's really important to remember that same token may exist on different networks, but it's not fully compatible. You need to use bridge to, to be able to move it between networks. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please do let me know in the comments section. If you have any ideas or for future videos, also please do let me know. I'm always happy to, to take those suggestions on board. If you find this content helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.